sure that your license for your web template is registered. Uh, we're just going to register ours to uh, .i30themes.net. This is where I have an example site. Right, proceed. It's just going to register. And there we go. Um, at that point, once you've gone and had it registered, uh, you're going to want to take a look at uh, this area down here. Uh, basically, all you need is everything that's in the uh, yellow rectangle or orange rectangle. If you want to add your own email address, by default it actually uses the email address that is attached to your account here. Uh, however, if you have a client that you know you want to uh, have the form information get sent to you, you can make it client at their website, something like that. It's going to generate that and place a little bit of code right there. And what you know, in addition, say you want client two at their website. Com. and uh, say you want a copy as well uh, me at at my site okay so it's actually gone and uh, added three additional uh, hidden input fields we're just going to copy everything that's in this orange rectangle okay we're going to copy it with control C or you can right click and go copy from there we're going to go to our web editor I'm just using Dreamweaver as an example but you would uh, you know, scroll down. Find, this is your contact page. Place your cursor about you know where the form is, right about here, and then switch over to Code View. You're going to find an opening form tag. You're going to want to remove that. If you have uh, a second line of code that looks like uh, some comments and web bot, and so on and so forth, that's a lot longer as well. You're also going to want to remove that line as well. So you just select them, Control V as in paste. That will paste your code in here, and save your page. I just hit Control S, and it's published out my file. There's a couple things you can configure in here: the confirmation page, it needs to be the full URL, just as you see there. Uh, by default, though, it will redirect back to the same page that the form was on. So, if you want it to go to a different page, you would specify in absolute terms using the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your website address and then the page. You can also specify the uh, subject of the email that you receive. Otherwise, by default, the system will generate something. Also, if you want the email that is received by you to be your customer's email address, say you have a field such as down here. I have a field called user email. This is where they enter in their email address. You can copy that where it says name equals and then user email. You just copy that, control C, and you paste this field name there. Uh, what that does is that maps uh, what the email from is going to be to who whatever they enter in this as their value, okay? I'd probably leave that uh, as a secondary thing to configure. Uh, it's fairly advanced, but you know, these are the options available to you. You just save and uh, you're done and you're, you're provided that your form is submitted from the page that it is uh, registered to uh, the form submission will be emailed to you uh, if you if your form is submitted from a different website address or a, a domain alias that is not the registered domain then it will not work uh, so you need to make sure that this is to, uh, you know, because this is available only to people who've purchased from us, so that someone else can't copy this code, place it in their own form. So uh, that's more or less it. At that point, your form should work. All right, best of luck.